हेलो फ्रेंड्स आई एम प्रशांत विश्वनाथ धनशेट्टी असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ सिविल इंजीनियरिंग फ्रॉम वालचंद इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ टेक्नोलॉजी सोलापुर टुडे आई एम यर टू एक्सप्लेन यू अबाउट स्लोप एंड डिफ्लेक्शन ऑफ अ सिंपली सपोर्टेड बीम यूजिंग कॉन्जिगेट बीम मेथड एट द एंड ऑफ दिस सेशन द स्टूडेंट्स विल बी एबल टू कंस्ट्रक्ट द कॉन्जिगेट बीम फॉर अ सिंपली सपोर्टेड बीम दे विल बी एबल टू कैलकुलेट स्लोप एंड डिफ्लेक्शन फॉर अ सिंपली सपोर्टेड बीम विथ यूनिफॉर्म क्रॉस सेक्शन and they will be able to calculate slope and deflection for a simply supported beam with variable cross section the conjugate beam method is the method used to determine the slope and deflection of a beam in which the imaginary conjugate beam is constructed from the real beam and the shear force and bending moment diagram of the conjugate beam are equal to the slope and deflection in the real beam now what is real beam a real beam will be a beam having actual load and support condition whereas in case of conjugate beam it is an imaginary beam of length equal to that of original beam but for which the loading diagram will be m upon ei diagram to draw a conjugate beam it is necessary to know the conversion of the support from the real beam to conjugate beam if the real beam has simply supported or roller supported end condition so in conjugate beam it will be simply supported condition whereas in uh, free end in the actual beam will be fixed end in the conjugate beam for fixed end in real beam it will be free end in conjugate beam the slope at any section in the real beam will be shear force at the corresponding section in the conjugate beam deflection at any section in the real beam will be bending moment at the corresponding section in the conjugate beam given a system of loading condition in real beam the loading diagram in the conjugate beam will be m upon ei diagram if bending moment diagram is positive that is sagging in real beam it will be m upon ei load diagram acting downward if bending moment diagram is negative that is hogging in real beam it will be m upon ei load diagram acting upward to find out the slope and deflection by conjugate beam method these are the steps to be followed given system of loading what will be the loading diagram on conjugate beam for a given system of loading the loading diagram on the conjugate beam will be m upon ei diagram now we will try to find out the slope and deflection of a simply supported beam having a load a load p at the center so this is a simply supported beam ab which is having p kN load at the center that is l by 2 from a and l by 2 from b so the bending moment will be zero at the support a and b the reaction at the support will be p by 2 as it is a symmetric loading condition then the bending moment at c will be equal to reaction into the distance of c from the support that is p by 2 into l by 2 it is pl by 4 so the bending moment diagram is shown in this figure and the conjugate beam now can be drawn by dividing the bending moment at any section divided by ei as shown in figure c so now here it the loading diagram will be here pl upon 4 ei simply support and roller support in real beam will become simple support in conjugate beam and the loading as it is positive it will be downward now let theta a and theta b be the slope at a and b as it is a symmetric slope will be equal at both the support yc is the deflection at c that is center for a simply supported beam the reaction at each support of a conjugate beam is half of the total load that is p by 2 so theta a is equals to theta b is equals to shear force at a and b for the conjugate beam so theta a is equals to theta b is equals to half of this load that is one half base is ab into height that is cd theta a is equals to theta b is equals to 1/2 into 1/2 into l into pl upon 4 ei therefore theta a is equals to theta b is equals to pl square upon 16 ei now to find out the deflection 
according to the conjugate beam it will be bending moment at the C. Therefore, the deflection y c is equals to, so considering the left portion, so it is r a into l by 2, that is this reaction into distance minus this triangular loading into the C g of this triangular load from c. So, y c is equals to, now reaction is P l square upon 16 e i into this distance that is a star c star that is l by 2 minus this triangular load portion that is one half base is l by 2 into p l upon 4 e i and the c g of this triangle will be one third of this distance a c that is one third into l by 2. So, solving this we will get y c is equals to p l cube upon 32 e i minus p l cube upon 96 e i. Again solving this we will get y c is equals to p l cube by 48 e i that is the deflection at point c in the real beam. Now, we will see the slope and deflection of a simply supported beam of varying cross section with a point load at the center. So, the beam span is 4 meter that is 2 to meter. So, the load of 100 kilo Newton is acting at point C and I value for the left half is 1 into 10 raise to 8 mm raise to 4 and right half portion is 2 into 10 raise to 8 mm raise to 4 that is here moment of inertia is I here it is 2 I. So, we have to find the slope and uh, deflection that is slope at the two supports and deflection under the load where E is given as 200 giga Newton per meter square. So, first of all we will convert uh, these units in kilo Newton and meter. So, this I for the left portion is 1 into 10 raise to 8 mm raise to 4 it will be equal to 10 raise to minus 4 meter raise to 4. I for right section will be 2 into 10 raise to minus 4 meter raise to 4 and E is 200 into 10 raise to 6 kilo Newton per meter square. Now, the reaction at A and B will be equal to half of the point load as it is symmetric, then the load will be reaction will be P by 2 that is 100 by 2 that is 50. So, the bending moment at C considering the right portion from C. So, this, so we will take only this reaction that is R B into this distance. So, it is 50 into 2 it is 100 kilo Newton meter. Now, to construct a conjugate beam simply support or roller support in a real beam will be simple support in conjugate beam. So, this is simple support. The loading diagram of conjugate beam will be m upon E i diagram. So, this will be m upon E i diagram. So, this point how it is taken see this C star and D star or D star C star is equals to bending moment at this point that is at the D divided by moment of inertia of A C portion. So, as here is a sudden change in the cross section. So, for the first you have to take a moment of inertia for A C portion for the second you have to take moment of inertia for the right part that is uh, B C section. So, here uh, the ordinate D star C star will be equal to bending moment at C divided by E into moment of inertia of A C that is 100 upon E i. For ordinate C star E star it is equals to bending moment at C divided by E into moment of inertia of B C portion that is 2 i. So, it will be equals to 50 divided by E i. Let R a be the reaction at A and R b be the reaction at B. Calculate R b taking moment about A. So, R b into distance that is 4 is equals to load of this triangular portion that is A star D star C star uh, multiplied by the C g of this triangular portion from A plus load of this triangular portion C star E star and B star and the C g of this triangular portion from A. So, that is equals to R b into 4 is equals to 1 half this base is 2 and height is 100 upon E i into C g of this triangular portion is 2 third of 2 
plus this triangular portion is one half base is two and height is fifty upon e i into c g of this is two plus one third of two. So solving this, we will get R B is equals to two hundred divided by three e i. Now R A is equals to total load on conjugate B minus R B. So R A is equals to this total load will be equals to load of this triangular portion plus load of this triangular portion. That is one half base is two into height hundred upon e i plus one half base is two into fifty divided by e i. Minus R B reaction that we have calculated 200 divided by 3 E I. So solving we will get R A is equals to 250 divided by 3 E I. Now let theta A and theta B be the slope at A and B, and Y C is the deflection at C. So theta A is equals to shear force at A of the conjugate beam. So the shear force at A will be the reaction R A. So theta A is equals to R A reaction is 250 divided by 3 e i so solving this putting the values of e and i we will get theta a is equals to 0.004166 radians theta b is equals to shear force at b for the conjugate beam so that is equals to r b reaction so putting the values theta b is equals to r b reaction that is 200 divided by 3 e i so solving this we will get Theta B is equals to 0.00333 radians. Now to find out the deflection under the load, Y C is equals to bending moment at C for the conjugate beam. So now bending moment of C. So what you have to do is either you have to consider the left portion or right portion. So Y C here I will consider left portion. That is R A into two. This reaction into distance. From C star minus load of this triangular portion A star C star D star into distance of C G from C. So Y C is equals to this R A is two fifty divided by three E I into two minus this triangular load one half base is two into height is hundred upon E I into C G of this triangular portion from C star that is one third of two. So solving this, we will get Y C is equals to 100 divided by E I. Putting the values of E and I, therefore Y C is equals to 5 mm. So these are the references which I have referred. Thank you, thank you very much for watching my video.